Hey guys, what's up? It's Matchpoint here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a guide on how to play Maestro in Rainbow Six Siege. So let's get right into it. As you can see, he's a 3 armor and 1 speed operator. His loadout has the Elder 5.56 and the AC S12. Personally, I'd use the Elder 5.56 and I'd recommend you to do so too, running an ACOG, a compensator, an underbarrel and a vertical grip. For his secondaries, he has the Bailiff 410 or the Karatos. I'd recommend using the Bailey 410 as it's kind of like a shotgun pistol and can be used to split open the two bomb sites. For his gadgets he has barbed wire and a deployable shield. Personally I take the deployable shield and I'd recommend you to do so as you will most likely be anchoring with Maestro and holding down a point and the deployable shield can provide some great cover for you. And if you don't know what anchoring is I'll be leaving a card in the top right so you can go and check that video out too. What should you be doing in the preparation phase as Maestro? Well ideally you want to be getting two reinforcements down like you normally would and then you've got these two cameras which we'll be diving into a little more detail later on and you want to be putting them down in specific entry points and main key points where they come in from or if you're on bomb which I am here I'm going to be putting them down on each bomb site and this is because it can easily stop a plant and we'll show you that later on. We're going to be putting our camera down here as it's on the bomb site and it's right by a main entry point. And if this video does help you out guys or you're enjoying it so far, make sure to subscribe and leave a like on the video as it really helps me out. So as Maestro, we're going to be setting up in this corner over here by our deployable shield which we're going to put down. Just here by this sofa. Now our main um, holding point is going to be these stairs in front of me. Those ones right there and we're going to be holding down them and see if anyone can come up. So guys, I'll pass you on to Copper Cameron and we'll see how he's getting on with his tutorials. Enjoy! Okay, um, Maestro. I don't really know how to play Maestro, but I think I've seen a video where he has these cameras. I'm going to put one down there. I think I should put them just around me and sit in a corner, because I, I think they shoot lasers out, actually. Oh, if they, they can protect me and shoot lasers out at them. Oh, okay. And, um, his gun, I think it's quite good. I think he's kind of like Rambo, where you just spray and shoot and you get a load of kills easily. Oh, my stuff seems pretty cool. Um, where are they coming in from? Um, maybe if I shoot down here and spray like Rambo. Oh, I got a kill! Oh, my stuff's amazing! I'm... Oh, he's my favourite operator. I actually got a kill. I'm going to try it again. Oh, and oh, come on. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, no, no. No. Oh dear, Cameron. What happened there? <laughs> you see, my tutorials can be so much value to you. So, I think you'll be with me for the rest of this one. Right, anyway, let's get back into it. So, we're going to talk about more detail about the preparation phase. So, as you can see, I've just got my two reinforcements down. And I'm going to be putting my deployable shield in this corner here. And the reason why we're going to be doing that is we're going to be putting it against this um, concrete wall that's uh, been put in place here by the game naturally. And we're going to be putting it up against it to create one of those angles I was talking about. Which is why you should pit the deployable shield over the barbed wire. Unless you um, personally don't like deployable shields and you'd rather use the barbed wire. But I think the deployable shield is a much better option. So we've gone and put our camera down in that hallway there and we're going to be putting another one down here as it's one of the main entry points where they come from um, the outside and as you saw there our camera is right there and the reason why we've put it there is because it's right in the middle of those two bomb sites and it's going to be on the angle we're going to be holding down so we can easily get some intel if they're there and then we'll know where they are when we peek it. So we're going to hop on our cameras here and check where everyone is and see if we can gain any intel on where the enemy are. And it doesn't look like we can see anyone at the moment. And there is a fuse that has just used his gadget and fused in from the top of the roof. So it's not exactly a great idea to stay in this room at the moment. With that hatch being open which we did forget to reinforce which was a big error. So we're going to be have to move him. So I managed to escape there and move out. But we're just going to stay behind here and we're just going to be holding an angle down on that doorway.
And now as you can see here, we've got a really tight angle down and we can see if anyone's going to be coming in through here as we do hear someone nearby. There's a drone coming in, so most likely there is going to be someone coming through here. And we're just going to be waiting, holding down this angle, being patient as they will come in through. And there's the kill there, we pick up one. Right, in this clip, you're going to see how powerful Maestro's cameras can be. And Cameron was kind of right that they, that they can protect you and be like a laser, but wasn't right about the other parts. So as you can see here, his camera overheats once you use the laser for a certain amount of time. And we actually do go and knock the guy. And then we end up getting a kill on him with our camera, which shows just how powerful they can be. It's not often that you see that, but it does show how useful they are. And like you saw just then before, it overheats once you use it for a certain amount of time. And once you're shooting that laser and you're exposed, it means that the camera can be shot. But apart from that, it is bulletproof. And the other counter to it is Twitch, as when it's um, closed, the Twitch can stun it and the enemies can shoot it once and take it out that way. But apart from that, Maestro's cameras are very good. Now, in this clip here, you're going to be seeing how good Maestro is with his camera gadget and his gun combined. So as you can see here, we're gaining so much intel on them enemies are outside. We know that they're both there. The Montaigne steps in, another one comes in, I pick up the kill on him, and my teammate cleans up the Montaigne. And as you can see there, from that camera scan, we knew they were going to be coming past this doorway, so we just had to hold an angle down, be patient, and wait for them to come through. Now the reason why I didn't open my uh, Maestro camera and start shooting them, because it does have a very long range, which is another great reason for it, is because they would have been able to shoot it and we wouldn't have gained as much intel as we did, which led, led us to getting them two kills like we did. So right here, we're going to be sitting on our cameras, seeing if anyone else is going to be coming through. We do spot that thinker, so we know someone's going to be coming up through here. So all we've got to do is we've got time on our side, they've got 50 seconds to get uh, the plant down or kill all of us. So we're just going to have to hold this angle down and we don't really have to move. We see a few shots being fired there. And we've got them locked down here so they might not even come up this way. But all we need to do is just be patient. And it doesn't like that look like they're going to come up here. And in fact, they come up a different way. And our teammate cleans them up and we go on to win that round. So in this clip, it's going to kind of be a summary of just to show you how strong Maestro is with his gadget, his gun, and just her whole operator combined. So as you can see there, we've just put our camera down uh, by that entry point there, as most of them do come in through here. And then we're putting another one over here on this bomb site so we can watch that one as well. Now, you can put a deployable shield in a door doorway, like um, an entry point to get a nice view and also a really nice angle, as you can see, just there. And we can not show much of our body and we can get some shots off like we did on that thinker there. Now, we hop on that camera because we know we put them on there and we see that thinker there. And she knows that we know where she is. So she goes and runs out because we've got intel on her and we've got the upper hand. And that just shows if we had a Valt cam there, uh, a black eye, or just any other camera in general, it would have been shot and destroyed because they're not bulletproof. Whereas Maestro's camera um, can rotate around and it is bulletproof as well. And it looks like the hatch has just been opened up there, so most likely someone's going to be coming down here. The mirror has just got popped. So we're just going to have to wait here and we're going to see if someone comes down whilst checking on that doorway as well. And someone does in fact come down and we go and down them and then finish the kill off there. And we're just going to be sitting on the cameras again to check if anyone's going to be coming through. Now we are getting spotted but it doesn't really matter at this point because we've got such a tight angle down we pick up another kill there and it looks like we're going to win this round. Again here we're just holding down these angles as you can see through that deployable shield. And me and the Frost are holding down this two bomb sites, and it looks like we're going to go on to win this round. Check the cameras again, no one's there. We do get a scan on them, so they're most likely going to be coming through here. 
and I'll let this round finish out for you. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye.